history Long of story the or short. Long. <laughs> Long. Oh shit. Uh, when I was a kid, I, I played the drums. And then I went to high school and started playing like guitar. I got really into it. And uh, uh, after that, I knew Yere. Because we were in the same high school. Yeah. And uh, I was like, you wanna play? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and uh, then we started to play. I was in, in guitar. And uh, after that, Iba came. When was it? Uh, it was at the beginning of when you guys yeah. started. And me and Iba was like up. Uh, yeah, we played guitar. Yeah. At the beginning. Then uh, COVID happened. Yeah. And the whole band was like, fuck it. <coughs> and we like sort of started again. Yeah, we found a singer. And then we played with him. Kasu went to drums. Yeah. We found Jokke. And Jokke came to play guitar with us. And yeah, so there was five of us. Then the singer left. And I became the singer. <laughs> I hated it at the beginning, but then I started to love it. It, it took a lot at the beginning because I had... Our songs are like uh, riff based, so it was it was hard, and I was struggling to sing and play the riffs, so it wasn't that fun. But then I got the hang of it, and yeah, I love it. Wouldn't change it. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> So Lockdown EP, there's four songs, three fast songs and one ballad. So let's start with the oldest song, yeah. it's called Don't Leave. And that song is basically, uh, it tells a story of when you get something important in your life and that's the moment when you start, start to fear losing it. So. That's kind of the realization that you have something important when you start to fear losing it. So that's what that song is about. And the subject of the song changes a lot. It's not necessarily a person. It could be a hobby, it could be music, it could be yeah. anything, anything. Yeah, that's the only. Yeah, free to go. I'm 
that every one of us who has gone through bullying in school or being left outside some some group and basically made to feel like shit so it's it's kind of the understanding that those feelings that we get it's all right to feel those and to learn from it all and you know grow growth in using those negative experiences to to your benefit again turning into some kind of power yeah making you stronger yeah so lockdown it's a story about sort of becoming an adult growing uh, up growing up yeah you live your life your parents tell you be this be that and they do that with with all the love and respect but there comes a day when you realize that's that's just not for you so it's a story about leaving sort of flying away from the nest but not in a bitter and sad way but but sort of understanding that all the people they wanted to cherish you and guide you to what they think was right yeah. but at the end of the day you have to figure that yourself yeah yeah so so the the ballad is i think it's like a crowd favorite yeah so, one of them yeah yeah so meaning for me well it says it says it in the title yeah so it could be anything for you yeah and you basically just need to figure it out yeah because when when you don't know you don't know what your what your own meaning in in this life is then you're just sort of wandering around and you know feeling empty you go go on with your day and you feel like you're free but in reality you're not yeah so that's the that's the topic of the song it doesn't matter what it is it just has to be right for you to find your own meaning well it's uh, well it's Jonathan Stanford is our producer Jonathan Jonathan, Jonathan. Jonathan Stanford is our producer and we were rock- uh, recording it in her uh, in his apartment in Siuntio a house yeah cottage or house in Siuntio and <laughs> Yeah, well, it was a great experience because it's it's not like basic studio. It's a uh, it's more like cottage or or like it's, it's like the, going to your grandma's house. Yeah, <laughs> smelling like it also. So you're like yeah, basically instantly feel like home. Yeah. So it was quite unique, unique yeah. place to record it. Yeah, we recorded it all live. In three days. Yeah. Yeah, so so how did you record it live? Everyone playing together? Yeah, everyone yeah. playing together and, and yeah, because we're at the end of the day we're always been and always will be a live band. Yeah. So that was the that was the only only way to do it. And it happened perfectly. So we recorded the EP with uh, this guy Jonathan Stenfors. Uh, he has this place where he lives in Sipo. Yeah. So the way we recorded the EP was live. We played all in the same room together, just to, you know, because we've always been and always will be a live band. So we wanted to capture that live feeling. We can see everyone's emotions and playing and yeah, yeah. So that happened perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. yeah. We want to thank uh, Jonathan Stern for our producer uh, at uh, Norber. He has, he, he has done all the behind the scenes stuff and, yeah. and the cover of photos of the yeah and who else well everybody who was involved uh, yeah with that and all the fans of yeah. course <laughs> if we if we don't have fans at least at least the people who listened yeah. and came yeah. to the shows so yeah thank you Tää kertoo asioista, joita me tiedetään, että satuttaa meitä, kun me ollaan niin helvetin koukussa niin, että me ei pystytä päästä irti. Tän biisin nimi on A Devil in Disguise. Talking about the fittest
Come on, I'm 